Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Thursday morning here at the European Open. Feeling slightly jaded after the excitement yesterday with the news about China perhaps toning down their purchases of U.S. Treasuries. We did not see the follow-through that I was hoping for, as you can see on this Euro-Dollar chart. I really was thinking that this was going to be quite a bullish segue into long Euro-Dollar positions. A lot of reasons for that, and the market was short, as we were. We were long Dollar Swiss going into that announcement. So not only did we get stopped out of our long Dollar Swiss, we got long Euros up in the 70s. We created a very good average, so it didn't really cost us any money, but we got taken out of our dollar Swiss, uh, which was annoying, and now here we are, mid-range again. So, tough one today. We're looking at things, we're saying, well, what's intact? What uh, What's intact? Cross yen is still intact. We got a big big throbbing red bar yesterday not much of a bounce today as we spoke about we do think this euro yen is going to break this 132 area um, it is still sell on rally and it is still go ahead and add through the lows the daily lows tactically so today is uh, 133 the figure Yesterday was 07, but today was 01. We're going to sell through the fig. We're going to be fading this uh, in the 50s and then again in the 90s because we see resistance up at 134, the figure. This looks quite interesting. Cable, we got this trend line coming up. It's getting closer and closer. 134, 57 today should be supportive on the first bounce down if we get there. Cable did not go up well yesterday in all of the news. As you could see, Euro Sterling shot higher. So this is, this is usually endemic when cable is lagging. So cable doesn't look that great. Yesterday's low was 81. And so there'll be stops below 81 for sure today. But the problem is, is you have this trend line. And ideally what we're looking for here is one touch, small bounce, and then <coughs> maybe we can get short on a change in trend or a break of the trend line. We had some fireworks yesterday in MEX and in CAD. I was not involved, but it's worth looking at. Dollar Max went all the way up to 1940, and Dollar CAD went all the way up to, I believe it was 125.81. Let's have a, let's have a look. 125, yeah, 125.83. This was all based on news out of Canada that they're worried that Trump's going to pull out of NAFTA. Tough to trade this kind of thing. These news bombs, you kind of want to get in, you want to get out, grab your cash uh, if you're in front of your screens. Otherwise, betting on what Trump's going to do uh, looks very looks very speculative. Hard to, hard to manage risk reward there. Um, you know, this dude could do just about anything on any given day. So, you don't want to bother with that. Cryptos. Bitcoin got slapped. This is on the Korean news. Boy, the Asians are getting cold feet on this crypto stuff. And this is also coupled with Buffett going into the conventional media. Saying that uh, he doesn't understand, he doesn't really know, but he does know this is going to all end badly. I would agree with him. This is going to end badly for, of the 2,000 coins that are out there, it's going to end badly for 1,700 of them. So you do got to be careful. 
but it's these kind of comments that give us opportunities to buy Bitcoin. So I don't think we're quite there yet. I think this negative sentiment's going to linger now for a couple of days. When Buffett says something like that, he's a hero to, to almost all of us in the finance industry. This is going to sting a bit. So, 10,000, 8,000, 10,002, 8,002. Time to um, dip your toe back into the Bitcoin game. That's what we're recommending here. Privateer FX. Let's see what Ethereum did. Ethereum, because it's not as much a coin and it's it's more of an infrastructure play on the on the on the blockchain, it's holding up much much better. But same idea. Throw some bids in around a thousand. Throw some bids in around eight fifty. Randomly, hopefully you'll get done. Um, and you have to sit through some volatility, but then we do like we do like this stuff higher. So this is the plan for the crypto world. FX we're basically watching a little bit jaded after yesterday. Nothing massively in play. We do like crossing and lower still, but based on you know stocks have come all the way back 27.50, and if you look at the 10-year yield. It's a bearish day. It's a bearish day at 260. And now you have to sit here and imagine. I wonder if this this is going to be the range high. There's definitely going to be bids down at 250. We'll have to see how this trades when the yield goes back to 250. But that's a bearish bar yesterday. So today we're watching. We're going to shift a little bit of euro yen. Um, we're just going to be patient for now. Good luck out there, guys and gals. I will see you at the New York Open.